champions! What a, what a, what a move by Howie Roseman! Whoa! Yo, everybody, how you doing? King Ding Bat here. So the Eagles jumped Dallas in Dallas to get Dallas Goddard. And you know what? I love this pick. I loved it when it happened after having a chance to go back, take a look at some highlights of him, take a look at him, um, and just let this settle in. I love it even more. And I want to give you some of my final thoughts about this pick. Okay, now the Eagles, they trade up three spots in the second round and they give up a fifth round pick to come up and jump Dallas, the Dallas Cowboys who needed a tight end with Jay, with Jason Witten retiring, kind of throwing it on the Cowboys today. I think they were really sitting there and they wanted to get Cortland Sutton or a tight end and Goddard was there. The Eagles jumped just in case Dallas was looking to get him. And they basically, in my opinion, they stole him from the Cowboys. Now, last year at the draft, the Cowboy fans all said, the Eagles, you know, we got you guys good. And Drew Pearson did all this stuff. It's all even. It's over. The Eagles win. Right? When you have David Akers came, he held his own. But then when you steal the player that the, the home team wants, you win. You win. Dallas, you lose again. <laughs> Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Now, enough for that. So the Eagles, they draft Dallas Goddard from South Dakota State. He's 6'5", 256 pounds. The one thing that you notice really quickly about this kid is he's probably the most athletic tight end in this draft. He makes some unbelievable highlight reel catches, okay? The kid, he's got a lot of talent. He has a lot of talent. And he has to have a high ceiling. Now, I don't know that people had him rated as the number one tight end, but when you watch him, you really got to wonder if he didn't come from a small school or how much coming from a small school is really hurt, really hurt him, right? Um, Carson Wentz came from North Dakota, right? North Dakota. And he came from a small school. And what happened? Carson Wentz was a stud, but people like the Cleveland Browns said, nah, he's not going to be any good coming from a small school. I think the same could be true from Dallas Goddard, and I wonder if Carson Wentz knew much, you know, how much he knew of this kid and how much he had an impact on this pick. Now, the Eagles, you know, look, they lost, when they lost, um, when they lost Trey Burton, I kind of had already gone in the mindset of if we have to draft a tight end early, that's fine. Because I always see the Eagles as a team that is always going to utilize two tight ends. Plus, Ertz, sometimes he doesn't play every game every year. He misses games here and there, and you need a backup tight end that can catch. This guy's a red zone threat. This guy's a playmaker. And this is a great, great, great pick. So I'm really happy with this pick. I cannot wait to see what the Eagles do tomorrow. And I will be definitely trying to stream the fourth round for you guys. And we'll see what happens. But for my final thoughts on the night for the Eagles and this pick, I give it I give it an A+. Plus. And this is an A-plus draft pick. This is a smart draft pick. And every Eagle fan should be excited about this guy. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. And don't be a dingbat.